Hey, Miles here at Tackle Hive. It is Thursday, so now we are gonna continue off of what we covered on Monday and start implementing some things live fire. We're going to continue our talk about building speed, and if you focused on what we were supposed, what you were supposed to be doing on Monday, making sure to reset that trigger right away, then today's live fire session will be easy. So if you're interested in finding out what it's all about, stay tuned. On Monday, we talked about resetting your trigger right away, and you're going to understand why that's so important as we begin to move into some of the practical reasons or the practical application of cadence. Now, again, we're not shooting based on the number in real life, but the practical application allows us to work or get an idea of how fast we are capable of transitioning from one target to the next target, right? So, Notice, I'm going to focus on one target right here, and I'm going to shoot at the one second cadence here. I'm going to load and make ready here, and I'll just take three shots so you get the hang of it here. You'll, you'll get the idea here. So I'm going to shoot on the count. So it'll be one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Simple, right? We've done that before. There's nothing magical about that. But you essentially can do the same thing when engaging or keep the same cadence when shooting multiple targets. You can chain things up. And in order to do that, you must be ready to take another shot when you transition to another target. And this is where resetting your trigger comes in. So I'm going to take four shots on this one target here and add a second cadence here. So notice this. And also listen, listen to the cadence here. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. So again, nothing, nothing crazy about that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two shots on both targets here and I'm going to keep that cadence in my mind, okay? Remember, baby steps. You're not, don't think of this as, I always have to shoot at a cadence. This is just an exercise first, okay? So now, notice this. I'm gonna take two shots on each target and the cadence will be the same. So I'm shooting two targets and everything sounds the same here. So it'll be one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. If you, see newer shooters do this, it will probably sound something like this. Notice how there was a big gap in between targets. So in contrast to one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, it became one 1,000, two 1,000. A big gap, one 1,000, two 1,000. Okay, so following a sh of shooting with a rhythm and you don't you can use any type of cadence in your mind and it's going to depend on your skill set right the more experienced you are you'll probably be able to shoot with a faster rhythm the less experience it will might be one second cadence but the idea here is that we are trying to transition while following a particular type of cadence as much as possible again at the end of the day you're going to drive the sights to where you need to and your sights are gonna tell you when to break the shot. But shooting with a pattern and trying to make do transitions in between the count is going to speed up your transitions. It's not always the case, you know, things are dynamic, but we always work to, towards an ideal because in real life, the closer we are in practice to that ideal, the closer we will be under stress or when things just go crazy. So the drill for today or the exercises for today are to you know, start off small, start off, you know, just easy, two targets. Start off at a second cadence, then move on to a half second cadence, then to a quarter second cadence. If you're missing your shots, then don't move on. This is again, getting used to being able to reset your trigger right away and be prepared to fire, okay? We are not, don't focus so much on the practical application of shooting on the number, but now what we are doing is we need to make sure that in between those numbers, we are transitioning fast, resetting and prepping, ready for another shot. Remember, that's the secret to shooting fast. It's not how, how fast you squeeze the trigger, it's how fast you come off and you come back on and you're ready to take another shot, okay? So I do highly recommend using a shot timer for this. And you're going to notice, I'll use the second cadence that I did before and show you the comparison here. Notice what a typical beginner who doesn't understand how to reset and prep and transition properly, notice what the time would be like here. But I, I will shoot with a second cadence, but in between it won't follow that. Notice, you'll see what I mean in a second here. So here we go. One 1,000, two 1,000, 
one 1,000, two 1,000. Again, there's that gap, right? And the total time there was 392, right? 392 with that big gap in between. So I'm gonna to try to continue the count, the one 1,000, two 1,000, and reset and prep in the between, in that transition time. So here we go. That was a 392. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Now let's compare the time. So everything was the same. All right, all I did was I did not pause in between and that's a faster time. That was a 3.18. So that allows me to shoot faster total time if I use the time transitioning to reset and prep, prepare my trigger, I'm ready to take a shot and I'm also not taking a long pause. I'm trying to transition in a rhythm too. So instead of one, 1,000, two, 1,000, wait, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, I'm trying to continue the count. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. And this is something that you can do for faster rhythms as well. And then this will allow you to progressively build your speed. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're shooting at a second, quarter second, or whatever it is, we are trying to build speed based on your skill level, right? So you're shooting as fast as you can ultimately later on. Okay, but in order to get there, you need to reset and prep quickly and be able to reset and prep during the transition. So now I'm going to just, let's see if I have enough rounds here. I only have three rounds, but I'm just going to demonstrate, let's say half second cadence. So it'd be one and a, one and a, two and a, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing. In my third shot, I'm going to take one, two, the third one will be here, but you'll notice there's no gap. Okay, so look at this here. One and a, two and a, three. The idea there was I increased my overall speed, but still kept that count and still reset and prep appropriately. So the exercise here that I'd like you guys to do to begin to, again, develop more speed is to have multiple targets. If you're more advanced, you can use three targets, right? And keep the count in your mind, whatever, whatever that count is. And ultimately, if you're a really advanced shooter or someone who, who's learning quickly, maybe a quarter second is really slow for you. So then you could, you could try to increase the speed. But the idea here is you need to still get your hits. You need to be able to consciously know what you're doing in the sense that look at what you're hitting. And the goal here is to work your reset and prep because if you haven't worked that often, you haven't worked this and it's not subconscious, you're not gonna be able to shoot as fast because maybe you're still pinning the trigger. So start off with a second, move on, you know, speed up the time little by little. And you can do this for a number of magazines until you are very consistent, let's say with one, one of those times, maybe it's a second, be consistent for let's say uh, 10 mags straight, no issues, you're accurate. Then okay, bump it down. Maybe do half a second, 10 mags straight. If you're consistent, then bump it down. As you get to a shorter, shorter time in between shots, you will see that if you're not resetting prepping, you're not going to be able to go any faster. So we're using cadence as just a tool to allow us to work the reset and prep. And this will also help, help your transitions from one target to the next target, which is also about shooting fast and accurately, right? If I'm engaging one target, I need to move to the next. I need to find a way to follow that rhythm and reset and prep along the way. I hope you guys liked today's video. This is another baby step into developing more speed. And we also dove into how shooting in a cadence and resetting prepping right away is going to allow you to look at multiple targets and potentially cut the times in between targets. So give these exercises a try. They're building blocks to developing more speed and just your overall marksmanship. And then we're gonna continue off of this next week during our dry fire session. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.